All right, how much blame does uh, Troy Weaver get for what the Pistons going through right now? Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, <clears throat> hit all notifications, increase the chance of notifications. We go live or drop a video. Uh, if you actually want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Um, so, I mean, at the end of the day, man, Troy Weaver always had one get out of jail free card. All right. And it was that he never was able to pick his head coach to, you know, really, you know, help, you know, fully illustrate his, uh, excuse me, fully illustrate his, uh, you know, his vision. So, uh, so he always had that get out of jail free card that Dwayne Casey wasn't his guy. You know, he wasn't a guy that got a lot of job opportunities. They probably thought, we well, got to keep Dwayne. You know, he probably, all right, I want to keep my job, but I always can use that as, as an excuse on if the team doesn't perform well. Dwayne is not his guy. Now, another interesting question is, what is his type of guy? That's another interesting question. Like, what is his type of guy? You know, seriously, like, what is his type of guy uh, around the league? He's been around the league, and I'm pretty sure he got a type, but... Um, but as far as it, man, I just think Dwayne Casey's philosophy, you know, kind of would tell Troy Weaver, don't get nobody who can't shoot. But then again, that's still not a winning formula. Only the Warriors have won like that, bro. You know, you got to have somebody to get to the rim, somebody, you know, um, and do some other things. So, um, I think Dwayne, Troy Weaver got an idea, uh, for the most part, how he wanted to build the team. I think it's just um, Troy, you know, him and Dwayne Casey visions is just totally different. They totally different, you know. You get Jalen Dern, you know, you know, Bagley and a few other guys, and you go out and get Boyana Bish to more shooting. And no matter what the personnel say, they just don't shoot. You know, and if you can't shoot, then you ain't gonna stay out there. You know, at Jay Ivy ain't been a terrible shooter, but I think he should be working towards the strength of getting to the rim and getting to the mid-range and knocking it down. A lot of people put a lot of blame on John Beeline for these guys not getting better as shooters. Um, you know, so a lot of that. But I don't, you know, I don't I don't really give him a lot of the blame. You know, um, but he got to take some of the blame. So I'm going to say like 30%. That's where a lot. I'm going to say he take 30, 30, 40% of the blame. I'm going to lean 30 Um he drafted Bay, he drafted Stewart, he drafted Killian. Killian having a couple good games and not people going crazy. Oh, he's just arrived just in time. Dude just had a bad game before that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, he just gonna be one of the dudes they never let go. But the team don't need him. Sorry. The team don't need him. Right now, with the injuries they do, but I'm just talking about the long term. So, I mean, he made some bad draft picks. Um, you know, Dwayne Casey was part of some bad draft picks, like say Uncle Dubois before he got here. I just don't think what what Weaver and what Casey want is the same. They, how they, you know, they want to both win, but how they want to win is just a disconnect. And he was wondering if Troy Weaver complain about that, you know, you know, during the season. You know, I wonder if we complain about it because he's messing up. The, he's messing up the development of these young kids. That's what's happening. He he hurt K uh, K team the chances at winning rookie of the year. He hurt they, that chances of, of winning games last year by making K and Killian share the ball in the backcourt, and they clearly wasn't working. He refused to change it up. You know how the old man is? They were, they stuck in their ways. They stuck in their ways. And y'all know exactly how it is. So he don't he don't want to switch it up at all. He really don't. But 
So, I mean, I'll give them about 30%, 35, somewhere in the middle between 30 and 40. So, um, I feel, in my opinion, I feel like he missed on the whole 2020 draft. Um, you know, okay, when he playing, he looked, he looked good. This year, he looked, just looked lethargic. He started to heat up a minute, then he got injured. So, um, Ivy looked good when he playing. Um, Dern, he looked good when he on. It's just philosophy. You got a bunch of squares and round pegs, it ain't gonna work. You know, should he have catered more to what Dwayne Casey liked to do? For the team to be more successful, I mean, you can cater and give them the perfect pieces. I mean, you're still going to be successful. You know what I'm saying? The Warriors can shoot and, and shoot threes and win. The Suns never could do it. The uh, Rockets with Mike D'Antoni and James Harden never can do it. You know what I'm saying? You have to beat the trend in the league, bro. You have to beat the trend. You know, whoever your adversaries in the East, especially your, your division, Indiana, Chicago, Milwaukee, Cleveland, you got to do what beats them. That's why Milwaukee started getting long. Middleton, Holiday, Lopez, Giannis, they started to get lame. You know, they going to defend. When Detroit good, they we defend. When Dwayne Casey don't seem to be pushing – Defense, grit, toughness, nothing. He just looked clueless on the sidelines. So I give Casey a, a lion's share of the blame. Um, about 50 percent. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, Weaver about 35, 55. You know. Um, I mean, that's excuse me, that's 85, and the rest probably just go to Tom Gores. But you know, you know it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to somebody that's nice to Dwayne and to fire him or t or tell him that you you have to be removed from this position. But he ain't had a winning season before or after Troy Weaver got here. So, despite them making the playoffs against Football Milwaukee, they didn't have a winning record. You know, so he ain't you. You gotta win. And it's hard. It's hard to make decisions on nice people, on genuine and nice people. But they gotta get the job. You gotta get somebody to get the job done. You know, you love to see Dwayne Casey win. Just such a nice guy. You know, seem seem like a really good guy. You want to see him win, but sometimes the game passes you by. You know, sometimes it's time to go sit down and go coach at another level or retire. Whatever you want to do, move to the front office, whatever that entails. But sometimes it's just time to go sit your ass down. I hate to say it like that, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out the Detroit Pissing Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Check out the Detroit Pissing Talk playlist for more videos like this. Uh, hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor Cash, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.